Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session on post clack counseling process. And this is very important for all those students who have got the invite or who are likely to get the invite from the consortium for admissions to the national law universities in 2022. But before I begin the session, let me congratulate each one of you who is making it to national, uh, national law universities this year through CLAT 2022. As always, students have made us proud. And on behalf of entire CLLST family, first of all, I would like to thank each one of you. Now going ahead, today I'm going to talk about the exact process which NLUs follows or the consortium will follow for admissions to the different national law universities. There is a timeline for each of the process, which I'm going to talk about. How these preferences of national law universities, which you have to submit, works when it comes to admissions to these national law universities. And I'll also be talking for a short while about the process of admission for the NRI sponsored quota seats in the different NLUs where they are offered actually. So let's go ahead and look at what exactly are the timelines as far as consortium's counseling process is concerned. So the counseling starts today and will continue till 27th of June. The counseling will be there till 27th of June and all the students who have got the invite. So you have to check your account. If you have got the invite, the invite will be given to almost uh, five times the number of uh, students who would be uh, uh, who, who would be eligible uh, for that particular category. So five times Jada uh, invitation jayega. And very important for you to check your account on a regular basis. Ki aap ko invite agar aya hai, to you have to make the payment of the counseling fee. You have to also give the preference of the national law universities. Aapko NLU's ke preference bhi dene padenge. Wo bohat hi important hai. Jo general category students and people who are from general category, for them, the counseling fee is rupees 30,000. And for the other category of students, the counseling fee is 20,000. This counseling fee is adjusted to the uh, annual fee, basically, which will be paid to the National Law University, which will be allotted and where you'll be taking the final admission. So, this is 30,000 or 20,000, depending on the category. Whatever fees will be your final NLU ka jo admission, hoga, usme ye fees ko adjust kar diya jayega. this will be adjusted. So, this is not an extra amount, actually. After the counseling registration is closed on 27th of June evening, the first allotment list will be displayed on the first allotment list will be displayed on 30th June. And the first allotment process will continue till 2nd of July. Very important to understand. So you will get roughly around uh, <clears throat> three days in the first allotment list. Those who have been allotted a national university in the first list they will have three options. Either you can accept or lock that particular university. Very important. Aap usko ya to accept karo, lock karo. Iske alawa, aapko upgrade ka option hoga. Which means you have got a university other than Bangalore, of course, and you want uh, basically to look for an upgrade. You see that probably in the next list, if somebody leaves the process, I may have a chance to a higher national law university. So that is what is uh, uh, what is upgrade all about, actually. So student can go for an upgrade as well. So that means upgrade or revise of the national university. So you are locking that seat, which means aapko agar NLU, jo bhi a lot hua hai. let's say you have got NALSA based on your rank, based on your preference. It was second in your list. You have got NALSA, but you want to go to Bangalore and you see a chance if somebody leaves from Bangalore moves to maybe have given a different preference ya fir wo NLU Delhi move kar jata hai. So next uh, list jab aayegi, you might have a chance to be upgraded. So in that case, if you are looking for that, you have to keep the upgrade option open. In some of the cases, the student may not be very happy with the process uh, with the national university being allotted, may want to take a chance next year. These uh, students can exit the process completely. Okay. 
so only those students who have registered for counseling will be considered iska matlab for any list which comes out from the consortium first list second list third list fourth list fifth list aapko 27 june tak agar aap invited hai to aapko pehle register karna padega that is very very important jinhone register kiya hai sare list movements unhi students ke beech mein hogi similarly the second list will come on 7th of july will be there till 9th of july that is second allotment list same process hoga jo student naye hai is list mein upgrade walon ki baat nahi kar raha hu unke paas three options honge they will have three options one is to accept the other one is to upgrade and similarly if you are not happy with the allotment you 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 want to give it a retry next year or you are looking forward to any other college other than these national universities you can exit the process in every list the nlus will continue with the admission process you will have to make the payment so for example if you have been allotted a national university in the first list aap upgrade option chahte ho you want an upgrade to be there but then please understand please understand aap upgrade bhi aapko tabhi milega jo aapko national or university first list mein allot hui hai you have made the final payment of the fees to them which means whatever amount is there for the first year which the college is asking which the nlu is asking you have to make that payment you have to show your document get the admission complete that payment will get transferred from one nlu to another in case you are upgraded but if you don't uh, uh, don't uh, complete the process of admission in the first nlu which has been allotted to you you cannot move to fir aap wahan se bahar ho jaoge is process se to is baat ka dhyan rakhna bahut zaruri hai whichever first nlu has been allotted you have to block that seat first that is important so in this process you will have a third list coming on 12th of july which will be there till 13th of july so now the timelines will get narrowed similarly the fourth list will come on 16th of july will be there till 17th of july the last the fifth and the final list will be published on 19th of july and the students will have the option to exercise their choices only up to 5 pm on 20th july to so 20th july pure raat tak ka samay nahi milega sirf 5 baje tak ka aapko samay milega sham ke 5 baje tak ka you will have time only till 5 pm in the evening it is very important to understand that in case a candidate has been allotted seat between first and the fourth allocation list if they want to withdraw if they want to withdraw they have to do it by 17th of july else 5000 will be deducted uh, for blocking the seat so that is how the counseling process will move upon now before i talk about the preference of the nlu the suggested preference list for the national universities let me first help you understand what is the general intake across all the national universities i have tried my best to compile this information uh, you can uh, consider it likely to be an approximation because there would be certain numbers which will move from here to there because of the horizontal reservations which are carved out of the total seats from the respective categories only when you talk about horizontal reservation it means from across those categories from across every category certain percentage of seats will be carved out for a specific category actually like if i talk about women candidates if a college is offering uh, a 30% horizontal reservation that will be carved out from all the categories making it a total of 30% again so this is the general overview of what is the intake across the different categories in different national law universities some of the nlus including bangalore have increased the intake this year bhopal is introducing a new program with additional 60 seats similarly if you talk about uh, <clears throat> other national universities there are certain of them where you do not have seats reserved for specific categories on all india basis those seats are reserved only for the students who belong to that particular state so is baat ka dhyan rakhna bahut hi important hai कि कई ऐसे नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं जहां पे हर कैटेगरी के लिए सीट अवेलेबल नहीं होगा स्पेशली ऑन ऑल इंडिया बेसिस वहां पे कुछ पर्टिकुलर कैटेगरीज के लिए जो सीट्स होंगी वो अपने स्टेट स्टूडेंट्स के लिए ही रिजर्व होंगी फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई टॉक अबाउट लखनऊ लखनऊ देर इज अ जनरल कैटेगरी ऑन ऑल इंडिया बेसिस बट यू डू नॉट हैव एस सी एस टी ओबीसी ई डब्ल्यू एस कैटेगरी वेन इट कम्स टू ऑल इंडिया लेवल और ऑल इंडिया सीट्स दो सीट्स आर रिजर्व फॉर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश 
similarly for cnlu patna or nlu ja assam so you have to be very careful when you are exercising your choice ki aapko dhyan rakhna padega ki kis college mein kitne seats hain ye sab ko dhyan mein rakh kar ke and then you go ahead and make whatever uh, decision you have to take over there or in terms of your preferences and all so these are the intakes now these are the regular ones all in the seats across different regular categories and then state domicile seats across different regular categories plus 5% horizontal reservation is generally available to all the students who belong to the person with disability categories and there are some of the nlus where female students have an advantage that advantage will differ from each of the nlus uh, in some cases it is around 18% 5% so <clears throat> in in some cases it is even 30% but quite a number of national universities under clat today offer horizontal reservation for women candidates ye bahut important hai janna so even bangalore has now 18% horizontal reservation for female students hyderabad has 30% horizontal reservation bhopal has a total of 30 seats uh, for the regular program for the cyber law program they are introducing this year five seats are here marked for women candidates especially over there similarly gandhinagar mumbai raipur uh, lucknow visakhapatnam visakhapatnam has horizontal reservation available only for the state students which is students belonging to the state of andhra pradesh so 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 mnlu aurangabad has 30% horizontal reservation for women candidates beyond this there are certain super numerary seats available as well which includes jammu and kashmir so it uh, so domicile as well as migrants there most of the nlus have uh, these seats available uh, jnlu gandhinagar has also seats available for northeast students actually they also have sports quota and there are certain nlus like uh, uh, mnlu mumbai uh, lucknow rml nlu lucknow and mnlu rangabad plus simla where they have 5% reservation for students uh, whose parents are defense or uh, uh, come from defense or are ex servicemen actually so please be careful in some of these cases for some of these categories the supernumerary seats there is a separate form called expression of interest like for northeast category admissions jnlu has a form which is known as expression of interest which will be there on their website and one has to fill that actually so ensure for the super numerary seats if you belong to that category and if you are applying through that category aap un respective websites ko zarur check karo that is important now before i talk about the preference quickly let me help you understand how this allotment works first of all your allotment is completely dependent on your rank plus the others rank people who are above you so the, uh, your your allotment is completely dependent on your rank plus others who are above you in this ranking system which has come out which has been given by the consortium and then it is mapped to your preference actually so there are certain things you have to be careful first of all once you have submitted your preference you cannot change it you cannot make any amends to whatever preferences of the national universities you have submitted in the counseling process or the counseling registration process there is only an upward movement allowed which means aapka jo nlu aapko allot hua hai if you have given a another nlu higher than that then if there is a possibility you will be allotted that nlu you will not be allotted an nlu which is lower in your preference list despite your rank being good so rank is mapped to that available nlu in terms of respective category so rank plus preference is what helps you get that national law university allotted let me help you quickly with an example let's assume a candidate who has secured a rank 75 in plat and his preference of nlu is nlsiu at the first place nalsar at the second place nujs kolkata at the third place uh jodhpur fourth bhopal five whatever the case is now we do understand at rank 75 depending on the preference if he gives nalsar as first preference let's say this candidate gives nalsar at first preference and he gives nlsiu bangalore as second because nlsiu bangalore has only 73 seats in the all india general category and if every 73 student in that category takes admission 
then this student will be automatically given NALSA. Now, this student will not have any other uh, uh, <clears throat> choices now left because the NLSIU was second in his list. And because the uh, downgrade is not allowed in terms of preferences, even if there is a vacancy which arises in NLS, NLSIU at a later stage in the second list, this candidate will not be, this candidate will not be allotted NLSIU. Isko NLSIU nahi milega, kyunki NLSIU uske, NLSIU uske second uh, usme hai, preference mein hai. Aur usko already uska first preference allot kiya ja chuka hai. So that is important to understand. There is no downgrade which is allowed, only upward movement of the preference is allowed. Here is what is the recommended preference of the national law universities. No second thoughts when it comes to NLSIU, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Kolkata. I don't see any second thoughts over here. I'm sure each one of you will be in agreement among the top 10 at least. Now, <clears throat> there would be certain choices which you can make, but as far as the top 10 of them is concerned in the preference list, I would suggest don't make any changes. Unless you have a very compelling reason. Not just because you belong to that place, you should stick to that place. That is not a compelling reason. Please understand, quality of education is very, very important. It's a matter of five years. Five years effort, lagana hai, five years mehnat karna hai. Even if you have to move to a new city, please do that. Very, very important. So first is NLSIU Bangalore. Second, Nalsar Hyderabad. Third is NEJS Kolkata, fourth is Jodhpur, fifth Bhopal, then followed by Gandhinagar, Mumbai, Katak, which is Odessa, then Raipur, Lucknow, Patiala. At least from here until 12th preference list, I would suggest don't make any changes. Beyond that, you may have, uh, you may have, or you may take that call to make some edits in terms of your preference. But preferably for the first 12 NLUs, please stick to this order. The 12th one is definitely Patna. So it begins with Bangalore, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Jodhpur, Bhopal, Gandhinagar, Mumbai, Katak, Raipur, Lucknow. And don't make your love for the city as your, uh, as your point of decision. Please understand love for your state or city. It is about education. It is about these NLUs. It is about their legacy alumni networks there are a lot of factors which have gone into consideration when we are talking about this very very important for you okay now between here you can make choices now let's say you are from south india you may prefer kochi you're from north india you may prefer ranchi that is an individual call i give you that freedom but for the first 12 don't make those changes actually now if you're very much interested in the adjudication program which is offered by MNLU Nagpur. You can put that in the 13th rank. That is okay. You are very much interested in that program, which is a special program offered by MNLU Nagpur, the, the, the LLB in adjudication. You can go ahead for that. You can put that in 13th place. Even based on your rank, you'll have to still appear for an interview to be selected for this program. Carefully visit the wife, uh, so, uh, website of uh, the MNLU uh, on a daily basis to understand when the interviews will be starting, when the application for this program will be starting, because you have to make separate application, which is about interest to this program. So this is the preference of NLUs, which you should follow. I have given the reason how the preference uh, works, how the allotment of the NLUs work. So if you to change this, you don't have to change it. You think that कि मैं शायद सोनीपत को पहले डाल दूंगा तो मुझे अलॉटमेंट हो जाएगा बट उसमें आपको जो अपग्रेड होने का चांस है वो खत्म हो जाएगा ये भी ध्यान में रखना सो द ऑप्शन इज ऑलवेज ओपन देयर विल बी फाइव लिस्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम द कंसोर्शियम जरूरत पड़ी तो कॉलेजेस स्पॉट काउंसलिंग राउंड भी करेंगे वेयर यू कैन टेक दैट रिस्क वेयर यू कैन अप्लाई सेपरेटली बट डोंट टेक दोस डिसीजंस बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट अदर फैक्टर्स प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड देयर इज अ प्रोसेस व्हिच इज देयर अपग्रेड अवेलेबल होता है अपग्रेड के ऑप्शन को बेनिफिट उठाना चाहिए दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ द सेशन व्हिच इज अबाउट द एनआरआई स्पॉन्सर्ड सीट्स एंड द एडमिशंस टू दोस कैटेगरी ऑफ सीट्स 
First of all, only those students who had marked yes in the application form to the question uh, NRI sponsored, they will be considered for allocation. Now, you must have also appeared for CLAC 2022. Such candidates have also received the separate rank. So while you have got an All India rank, you have got an All India category rank, you have also got an NRI sponsored rank. Now, based on this rank, which is the NRI sponsored rank, you will have to apply to the respective national law universities separately, jo ye seats offer karte hain. So all those NLUs which offer these NRI sponsored category seats, you have to apply separately to them. They have their own application. They have their own process of admission. Consortium does not have any role as far as, as, far as in NRI sponsored category seats are concerned. Consortium will not allocate NLUs. Consortium will not get involved into that. That is left to the national universities which are offering such seats. And you have to be careful. You have to regularly visit from today itself the, the websites of such NLUs which are offering the NRI sponsored seats. And here is the list of the national universities which are offering NRI sponsored seats. Uh, the top two definitely do not have NRI sponsored or NRI seats available. Bangalore, Calcutta and Hyderabad do not have that category of seats available. So the third one, which is NUJS Kolkata, that has around 18. Jodhpur, Bhopal, Gandhinagar, MNLU Mumbai, HNLU Raipur, Odessa, Patiala. Then we have Lucknow, Kochi, Ranchi, Vishakapatnam, Tirichurapalli and Shimla. These are the NLUs where you have NRI, NRI sponsored seats available. And if you have got the rank, so you know <clears throat> this is the count which is there, plus minus here and there, you can make a call which of the NLUs you want to apply separately. Very, very important. Is chishka dhyan rakhna hai. To aapko alag se apply karna, you have to apply separately. There will be deadlines. Please carefully ensure that every day you are visiting, looking out for the forms. NUJS Calcutta application forms for the NRI category is already available. If you see yourself to be eligible based on the intake, your rank which you have received, go, uh, go ahead and make the application. Now, it does not mean that if you are applying for the NRI sponsored seats, you will not be considered by the consortium for the regular admissions or the regular seats admission, regular categories. You will be considered separately. If you have a rank and you are clearing the cutoff, you will be considered separately. It will be your call whether you want to take the admissions to a particular NLU which has been allotted through the consortium or if you're looking for a slightly better NLU, you are willing to uh, pay that extra, you have that sponsorship available, you want to get that NLU based on NRI sponsored category, you can go ahead. So that will be your personal call. So that is how the entire process of counseling, preference and how the admissions to the NRI sponsored seats happen. I hope this has given you clarity how to go ahead with the counseling registration. This has given you clarity. What should be the list of preference? While they have suggested a minimum five, I would suggest go ahead, list all the 22 national universities. Tomorrow, you should not have any regrets. So my suggestion would be go ahead, give all the 22, unless you are in top 100, top 200. So give, go ahead, give the list of all 22 NLUs in the preference, the order which I have suggested. Go ahead, do that. Don't limit yourself to the five, the minimum five which they have asked because once the application for the registration, counseling registration is submitted, you cannot modify that. You cannot add anything to that. Okay, so I hope this session was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our social media platforms and all the best to all the students who are appearing for AILT tomorrow. I know there are quite a number of students who are appearing for ALED tomorrow, despite having a good rank. That's good, actually. That's competitive spirit. And people are definitely looking forward to NLU Delhi as well. So there'll be a lot of movement which will be happening on that. So that is also a good news because some of you will be definitely going ahead and uh, taking admissions in NLU Delhi, which will definitely create vacancies for students in some of these NLUs under CLAT and then how if you have exercised that upgrade, your chances of moving into or getting that seat definitely increases. So all these factors you have to be really, really careful about. 
okay so please ensure you are checking your account your clat consortium account on a regular basis kisi bhi samay agar abhi tak nahi aaya hai kisi bhi samay aapka agar aap eligible ho to aapko invite aa jayega counseling ka aaj ka date diya unhone 25th of june and the registration process will be available till 27th of june is baat ko bilkul dhyan mein rakhna hai theek hai very important very important if you do not register in the counseling process if you do not make that payment you will not be considered for any list first of all it is very very important the second is if you have been allotted a national or university is any of the list including the first list if you don't take admission in that allotted nlu you don't get the option of upgrade even because upgrade tab hoga na jab already aap ek college mein admission le chuke ho and there from there you want to upgrade so if you don't upgrade uh, you don't take admission to the nlu which has been allotted you are technically out of the process you will not be there in the second third or fourth or fifth list so please ensure you follow these uh, inko dhyan rakhna admission counseling registration making the payment preference and if you get allotted if you are allotted a national university in the first list for stake admission and then exercise the option of upgrade at the same time without admission the option of upgrade doesn't work it means you have you have go, gone out of the process you have exited from the process ye iska matlab simple hoga counseling call letter is already out now please and go ahead and check that what they have said is they'll come out with uh, they'll give a total of five times the number of uh, intake so which means agar kisi category mein 100 ka intake hai to 500 students ko counseling invite bheja jayega the domicile form certificates all will be checked by the respective national law university where you'll be getting the admission they will verify all the documents please keep your 10 12 results in case your 12th results are already available all the documents your category documents everything ready and uh, and the once the admission once the first list is uh, coming out then within those two days three days time frame you will be taking admission the colleges will be verifying all the documents so keep your documents all in place and 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 and, and uh, be ready for admissions i do not have a conduct certificate from my school this will be something which will bother most of the students who had taken a drop for to write clat 2022 nevertheless uh, you can get a certificate from the notary in your city they have those certificate format already available aap apne city ke notary se aap wo certificate banwa sakte ho they can give you that and that is uh, a <clears throat> well accepted document that's not a problem log into your account if you have got the invitation that is available over there log into your consortium account jo registration fee hai ya admission sab kuch online payment hoga there is nothing physical everything is online jo invitation aaj aa jayega iske baad koi bhi invitation nahi aayega which means jo invitation jitne students ko dena hai wo aaj hi de denge उनके पास नेक्स्ट टू डेज का समय होगा 27 जून तक का समय होगा तो जिन जिन को इनविटेशन मिलनी है वो आज ही मिल जाएगी सारे स्टूडेंट्स को नो रेसिडेंस सर्टिफिकेट इज नॉट सेम एज डोमेसाइल सर्टिफिकेट रेसिडेंस सर्टिफिकेट इज बेसिकली stating that you are residing in that place domicile is basically you belong to that place please understand you are from from that state please understand that domicile certificate is very different you are, i hope you have got that issue very very important okay guys so <clears throat> you have got the invitation most of you are putting that in the chat box so it's time to go back to your accounts go back log in and ensure you start the process of registration hope this session was helpful and please go ahead and all the best to the students who are appearing for all india law entrance test for national university delhi tomorrow 
and for those who are appearing for Symbiosis Law Admission Test next Sunday. Wishing you all the best on behalf of the entire CLLST family.